Hi, welcome to this tutorial. There is a question on YouTube about the guy who says, look, I installed Google Chrome because there is Chromium and there's Google Chrome. And um, you can't select it in the preferred application. So we have here always the possibility to say, look, guy, uh, this is going to be my browser or this is going to be my mail reader or this is going to be my file manager because you can use the Nemo as well. We made a tutorial on that or you can choose a other terminal terminator gnome terminal and so on so first off if i ever want to try this out i have to install google chrome that's possible too so packer google chrome is that the name how is it named so you scroll up and indeed it is google chrome so once you know your name you just have to tell them number zero yes install it no no editing no no editing and if everything goes well and the package build has built has been created uh, efficiently and correctly then everything is just installed without further issues so that's this aur we're using arch user repository it's people who make recipes package builds they get it from GitHubs, from TAR, GZs, from RPMs, from DEPs. Any source is good. It's going to be unzipped or unpacked and then repacked like he's doing right now, compressing and is making this specific, special kind of package. And we can all follow that if you want to. You can follow it on the file system in the temp. It's called Packer. That's the one I use. So Packer builds. Google Chrome is being built right now and this is the tar GZ so the original download and we have here the source that is downloaded this is the source and this is what is going to be installed inside this package and the package build is here so everything is being built aha there it is and we can further install it it's a big number 177 megabyte yes install so what happened now, he created this thing. This thing, if you never want to install this the way we did right now, you can put this in uh, Dropbox or in Sync or anywhere. This is actually our exe. In Windows, this is our executable. The only thing we have to do is double click it and it says it's up to date. Do you want to reinstall? Yes, and that's it. It's just an, a way to install um, an application on Arch. So no. Remember PKG tor XZ. We can just double click it or say pseudo pacman minus U. But that was not the question. The question was how and why is not Google Chrome showing up in this? Our well, closes, of course, it has to reload everything. And let's see if we have a possibility to put it in there. So as you can see, there's nothing in here. Let's go to other. And now we have to know the name specify the application you want to use as a default or we navigate or i press super shift d which gives our d menu on the top and i just start typing google aha that's the name google chrome stable fine so escape and i type here google chrome oops chrome and then stable enter okay so a little icon in here but this should be now working how can we test it in variety we can always go to the test topper and that's a website so it knows that google chrome the real one he'll ask these questions make google chrome read your browser blah, blah, blah. okay so we have now the actual google chrome being the default we can also test it here in arch merge hello so that's an, a web page let's kill it it's a web page where we tell to you guys, hey guys, this is important. In this case, he does not know. We have to help him. Oops, wrong one. Google Chrome stable. Okay, and off we go. Again, we are in Google Chrome. Are we sure we're in Google Chrome? Help about Google Chrome. So yes, everything is working just fine. It's just a matter of question, maybe um, how to name it. So. What we did was super shift D and figure out the name of the application. So Google is enough to know that Google Chrome and 
the other one is called Chromium. That's the other one, open source. All right, enjoy and have fun with Google Chrome.